Turn to Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6. Then I ask you all, because you have learned the biblical principles, sorry, so try and apply. Matthew chapter 6, verses 22 to 23. Okay, now let's if Matthew chapter 6, 22 to 23. Shall we read together? But, eh, sorry, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness. Okay, so now the person asked this question. Uh, verse 22, it says, If therefore thine eye be single. But then in verse 23, it says, But if thine eye be evil. Okay, so why, what is single? Why don't God say, If thine eye be good? Because the other one he says in verse 23, But thine eye be evil. So why don't say good? Why say single? Okay, so the person wants to understand why God says good. God says single instead of good. Okay, so we always say when you have questions, when you read the Bible, there are four C's. All right, a good C to start with always is context. The context. Context means the verses before and after this passage to understand this verse well. Okay, context. So can I ask, what is the context before? Shen Ray, eh, Ray, what is the context before? So whenever you have questions, read before and after. Mm -hmm. like, whether you try and like build up treasures, treasures and like oh, on this world you should trade away like materialistic things. Okay. Or things like, okay. Yeah. Right? So about laying up treasures in heaven. That's the context, right? Now, maybe Vincent, you try. What's the context after these verses? Mm, no man can serve two masters. Ah, no man can serve two masters. Alright, so you see the context, what's the context? Now, God say, store your treasures in heaven. Right? Live for heaven. After that, he talked about, no man can serve two masters. Okay? So do you think you, it's beginning to become clear why God would say, your eye be single? Alright? So apply the principles you learn. Alright? Single means your heart be focused. Your eyes be focused on heaven. Don't get distracted by things on earth, by love of the world, right? You are very focused. And then, he said, don't serve two masters. Re-emphasizes, focus on one, right? And he said, you look, always focus on one. So God would use the word, if your eye be single. Okay, the eye be single. But it has also a bit to do, as, as some would understand it, with the way the Jews speak, all right? So when the Jews hear single, they would also very quickly know that is how they say certain colloquial things. And then, then, so actually the question is more like, but if thine eye be evil, <laughs> why not say if thy eye be double? <laughs> Since now God is focusing on single, so it's not so much the question, why God use good? It's more like, why God didn't say double? <laughs> Alright? It's the way they speak. It's the way they speak. Sometimes it's just like that. If thy eye be evil, in fact this word evil can also mean defective. Defective. If your eyes is defective, can you see clearly? Even you want to focus, you cannot. Right? So that is how they speak. Okay, so answer the question. Generate, alright? Okay, so that is the explanation for this. What do we have here? Top five reasons why church dropouts. Uh, what church dropouts say? Why they stop attending church? Now please remember 66% of well, I take the American view. Um, they are the most readily available results. They stop attending church at least a year after turning 18. So from